Hello, welcome to evening prayer for Thursday the 14th of April. We have normally Thursday Holy Communion and Vigil at half past seven. And then we're on to Good Friday. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. As we behold your Son enthroned on the cross, stir up in us the fire of your love, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and walk with you in newness of life, singing the praise of him who died for us and our salvation. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 39 I said I will keep watch over my ways, so that I offend not with my tongue. I will guard my mouth with a muzzle, while the wicked are in my sight. So I held my tongue and said nothing. I kept silent, but to no avail. My distress increased, my heart grew hot within me. And while I mused, the fire was kindled and I spoke out with my tongue. Lord, let me know my end and the number of my days, that I may know how short my time is. You have made my days but a hand's breath, and my lifetime is nothing in your sight. Surely even those who stand upright are but a breath. We walk about like a shadow, and in vain we are in turmoil. We heap up riches and cannot tell who will gather them. And now what is my hope? Truly my hope is even in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions, and do not make me the taunt of the fool. I fell silent and did not open my mouth, for surely it was your doing. Take away your plague from me. I am consumed by the blows of your hand. With rebukes for sin you punish us. Like a moth you consume our beauty. Truly everyone is but a breath. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. For I am but a stranger with you, a wayfarer as all my forebears were. Turn your gaze from me, that I may be glad again, before I go my way, and am no more. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Old Testament reading is Exodus chapter 11. We're going forward to the New Testament reading, to Ephesians chapter 2, beginning at verse 18. So then, remember that at one time you Gentiles by birth, called the uncircumcision by those who are called the circumcision, the physical circumcision made in the flesh by human hands, remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall, that is the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances so that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it. So he came and proclaimed peace to you who are far off and peace to those who are near, for through him both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. This is the word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, of whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. A song of praise. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise forever. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God saints from every tribe and language and nation. You made them to be a kingdom and priests, serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise for ever. On the Thursday, Lord Jesus Christ, we recognise he went through the most amazing and appalling things for us. And you were taken and crucified for telling the truth. Have mercy upon us that we might truly embrace the truth that you recognise as true. Deliver us from deceptions and fantasies. Deliver us from wrong thinking. Deliver us from those promptings of the flesh that would take us up cul-de-sacs and down garden paths. Lord Jesus Christ, your word is eternal. Grant us grace to know how to handle it, that we might be able to share many good things with those around us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, we bring before you this evening your world, and we confess that we're not really after it very well, nor have we done so. We're now beginning to understand the enormity of what we've been doing to our planet. God is supposed to be very wise as to how we move to a carbon neutral position and help us to take the right steps along that journey. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We bring before the Lord the challenge facing the church in many countries as we come towards Easter, knowing that many countries in the world do not believe that Jesus died on the cross. Others don't believe that he rose from the dead. Others might even believe that there's one way to celebrate Easter and it shouldn't be celebrated any other way. And there are some countries that basically don't want Christians to be present in their nation in any way at all. Lord have mercy. Bless and build your church across the world, that your gospel may go forth to every nation, language, tribe and tongue. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray tonight for the work of relief and development agencies and for peace in the trouble spots in the world. Bring before the Lord the ongoing crisis in Nigeria and the on the deadly attacks that Christians and others are facing across that country, particularly in the north, and particularly among Christians. We bring the Lord, before the Lord the humanitarian challenge in working in war-torn areas. We lift before the Lord Libya and Sudan, southern Sudan. We lift before the Lord Somalia and Ethiopia, Eritrea and Yemen. Bring before the Lord the aftermath of flooding in Mozambique. We lift before the Lord 
of a disastrous war in Ukraine that's affecting so much in so many places. We ask the Lord to help us to put away the weapons of war and to work for the blessing and building up of all. And we do pray for a reduction in poverty and a reduction in refugees and a reduction in the miseries that they face. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray this Easter that Redditch will recover something of that sense of the importance of the festival as we look towards this next 24 hours in which we especially remember Jesus' death for us on the cross. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll carry on with evening prayers through the uh, holiday period. Of course, not on Sunday, but we will carry on through next week as well. Bye for now.